Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is a Sacred Heart that I'm going to be uh, doing out of clay. I love clay. I love Sacred Hearts. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you've seen other things that I've made uh, having to do with the uh, Sacred Heart. And so I'm going to do it right here for you again, because this is so much fun and very easy if you're starting out and you want to do something clay. Um, now this is Sculpey 3. And that's what this is. This is a block. Um, you can also use uh, from Sculpey, it's called Sculpey Souffle. And what my advice to you is go to your Michaels or AC Moore, wherever, take your coupon, buy yourself a small block of Sculpey 3, buy yourself a small block of the Souffle, and then go home and see which one works better for you. I tend to, when I'm doing clay, you know, I'll, if it's still in the plastic package, I'll sit on it <laughs> to warm it up because I don't want to drag out my uh, pasta maker to work with it or I'll put it under my arm. Um, you know, you can do either one of that. And this is a, a quilting mat, right? It's what I'm using on here just because my mat underneath is dirty and I don't want it, even though you can see that I rolled it out and a little bit got on there. Um, but yeah, so I just rolled this out. This is just regular white. And I was using, this is what I used because a lot of you ask me to do demos with polymer clay and try not to use that. You ask not to, for me not to use uh, a lot of things that you have to buy for polymer clay. So I'm really making an effort here to show you. We can kind of do it like this. Now this is a um, hard plastic. I use, uh, you know, when you're cooking spray, Pam and all that stuff, I use those when they're empty to roll things out as well, because sometimes if I'm in a different room or my stuff's downstairs or upstairs, you know, wherever, and I don't have it, and that's what I have sitting there, well, that's what I use. Okay, so I'm just rolling it out, as you can see. Very, very simple. And if you've been with me for a while, you've seen other clay uh, videos that I've done doing Sacred Hearts. I do them in my journals. I do them on paintings. They are one of my favorite things in the world. Um, I think you, Lori, uh, Lori Uren sent me a beautiful heart, Sacred Heart uh, metal sculpture that I keep over there. I, I, I just love them. Okay, so a tip. If you find this sticky or your hands are sticking, right, a little bit of water will do you. Just like that. And... You can see I can turn it over if I want, and it won't stick to the, the bottom. Okay. Now, if you don't have polymer clay, what else can you use? Well, let me tell you. You can use paper clay. You can use clay that you make yourself. You can use paper mache. Um, and if you want me to demo some paper mache stuff, I'll gladly do it because I, I've been really into doing all this kind of stuff lately. Um, you can use Crayola. Go to the Michaels or AC Moore or wherever. Take your coupon, you know, Joey and Tobby Lobby, and buy yourself kids Crayola air dry clay. Very good to work with. Very fun if you're just starting out. Use your coupon. Get it half off, 40 off, and go and have a blast. Um, so you have a lot of options. Okay, so I have this, and I'm just using the back of my pa uh, paintbrush. However, excuse my, my gig gigantic arm. You can use an X-Acto knife if you want to as well, if you have one. I really suggest everybody having an X-Acto knife because I love them and I use them for so many different things. But you can also use your scissors if you open it up like this and you want to use it. I mean, really, you can use your imagination. You can find a lot of uh, great ways. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this part up here for the flame. This part's going to be the uh, heart. So I'm just going in. And I hope you can see. And I'm going to do my heart. And now I say to you when you do yours, look at it. Do you like it? And then just tap down some of that extra uh, clay that's up. You know, do you like it? Because I didn't fully cut it out yet, but I'm, I just put it in there so I can see it. I like the non-perfect, there is no perfect, but I like it to look like I made it. I want it to be, my energy to be in there, and I want to, you know, I just, I just love making it. Now, here we go. So I'm going to put a, like a square, kind of like where it comes out of, right? Where the flame comes out. And here is where you can definitely 
do your thing of whatever you, way you want to do it. You can make um, flames where you can just make them go up like that. You can, you know, where it's just ch -ch 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 like that. I am going to do my best and make some flames. And it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect. I like to go on both sides so I can kind of see. But it doesn't have to be perfect. And you don't, I mean, we're, this is, this is just fun and we're playing. All right, so you can see that looks, you know, it's not, we're not doing, I'm not fantastic at this. Oops, see, I knocked my water bottle right over. And if I just tap pieces in. But now here's the part that, why I love doing it like this. I look at this and I'm like, I'm not really digging. What the heck is going on there, Cal? That's what I say to myself. And then what I do, and hey, for you guys who can draw right off the bat and, and, and love what you do, I love it. I think it's fantastic. But you see, I'm just running my finger and pushing it down a little bit hard. That's what she said. And I'm going to go at it again because that's not what I want. So that's why I'm not cutting in to, um, I don't like this either. That's why I'm not cutting in. You see, people make mistakes, so why can't you? You see what I'm saying? All right, then. Now you can see we are essentially back to what we were. A little, little lumpy, but I'm not worrying about that. I'm just playing. So now I'm going to make this a bit shorter here. like that and then I want this to get the angle here let's see if I can do this and I want it to join hmm wonder if I go wonder if I don't do this so this is what I do and this is how you get there's nothing wrong with doing it like this I'm gonna take that in and then take that up that's what I'm gonna do I'm just playing. No big deal. And I'm going to just bring that down. Give it a swoop and do it like that. There we go. I'm happier with that. You can see, and I'm patting just to get those little things down. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Now I'm going to go in and you can go back in with your um, paintbrush and cut it out all the way, but I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. And I'm going to go in. And that's why I'm using... Now, if you don't have a cutting mat, do it on a piece of tile or whatever you have to cut. Just be careful. Um, oh, see, I did that a little bit weird. Be careful you don't cut yourself. And be careful that you don't cut whatever you're working on. All right, and you can see I can lift that up. And I can fix, I can play with all this later. And, and that little boopy I cut right there. So I'm just going to leave that there. Now I'm going to go in. And this is why I make sure I do all this before I go to cut it. And I'm trying, I'm going a little faster than I want to because of time. And one thing I'm going to tell you, cut outside the line if you can't go spot on. Because I'm, I, I just have no strength in my hands as much anymore. But just go outside the line because we can always form it back. Okay, I think I got that right thing. Let's see. So now I'm just lifting it up. You see how it comes out? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And don't throw this away. Oh, geez, oh, Pete's no. Put it in a, I guess, and set it to the side for now. All right, put your lid on your X-Acto or you're going to be like me and grab it and get all the time. I'm going to take this little piece, lay it right there. Whoops, it's sticking to my finger. All right, so now go in. And let me tell you something. What I think is your best, best tool now, I, you can see I did here, and it kind of separated it. I don't want it necessarily separate right now, but I want that to be in there, if that makes sense. But your best tool you have are your hands right now. 
They're going to be your smoothers. They're going to be, you know, get rid of all those lines and bumps and to help you form. Now, like right here, for instance, I see it's a little bit, you know, maybe not as clean as I want it there. So I'm just going to hold it and go down. Oh, I know that. All right, and I'm gonna go in and smooth. And if you have clay tools, by all means, use them to smooth or do whatever you want with them. I'm just smoothing it. And if you find your fingers sticking or anything like that, just spray a little water. So I can see here that I cut that when I was going through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put it up there and push this in. See how I'm pushing it in? And I'll deal with that part when I go to paint because this is the little top where the flames come from. But I didn't mean to cut that. But look, no harm, no foul. We fixed it. Okay. And you see how it just smooths with your fingers? You get all those lines out of there. Because remember, we can put all that back in. Especially with paint or markers or whatever you want to use. And you just kind of go and do your thing. All right. We'll use glitter. It's gonna be it's gonna be cute. I love these. Okay, now what we're gonna do is put this in the oven. Look at your package of clay that you got, and you will bake it in the oven according to its instructions. And when you're done. When it comes out, then we'll start painting. And you can see it's all one piece. And again, look, you know, oh, oh, I think another one of your, this is what I was trying to say. Another great thing to do is take a picture with your camera, with your iPhone camera, your phone camera, whatever. And then look at it if you want to see if it's, you know, kind of what you're, you're wanting. Now I can see on mine, this is a little thicker over on this side than I want. So I'm just pushing in, right? Do I have to? No. Am I? Yes. I'm pushing this down just a little bit. Okay. And what I love is we're not, you don't have to have this super smooth because we're going to paint it. So it's, it's really not going to matter. If you want to go in and put your uh, things back in, take the back of your uh, paintbrush or use a pencil, pen, whatever you have. I like to save pens that don't write anymore because I can use the ballpoint tip, but that's just me. All right, see, we, we kind of put that in there. So when we paint it, it's gonna stand out. Then we have right here, I wanna run this across because that's gonna be our, I'm gonna push this in a little bit. See how we're using this as our, as our little uh, clay tool, because that's kind of where that's gonna come from, right? And then we have our flames. Now you can definitely go in and add uh, texture to this since we know it's gonna be flames. I'm not going to, I'm gonna just leave it alone, um, but you definitely can, but we can also do it after as well. It doesn't matter. And I'm just kinda doing that. And now I will bake it. And when I come back, we will be on to the next part. Okay, so we're back. I love YouTube. Just shuts off in the middle of my camera and I got to start over. Okay, so all I did was, you can see here, it's baked. I baked it at 265 for about 25 minutes and it's hard. This is translucent. That's the color I used. Um, I like to use that or white because I'm going to paint over and I want to make sure that, um, you know, my paint will cover it. So, all right, there's nothing left on my brush now, so I'm just going to Turn this over for a second. Do my red on here and then clean everything off. But that's all I did. I'm using System 3 Crimson and, you know, I'm like I said before, I'm trying to use all my um, paint 
up and I have tons of that. Tons of gold and tons of uh, a lot of stuff that I just want to use. But here's the thing. You don't have to paint the back if you don't want. I am just in case. And I'll decide. I, I, I decide a lot of things once I get going on them. If that makes sense. I think I'm going to put this on a canvas. So doing the back is not a necessity. Uh, I want to do the sides. Because if I glue it on. Uh, canvas, you know, the sides, it'll be hard to paint. So I'm just kind of doing that. Not going to worry too much. And then turn this back over. And just run this like this. Just to touch it up. Yaw, yaw, yaw. Okay. Love it, love it, love it. And that is for that. So I'm going to rinse off my brush. And dry it. I don't want it too wet. And it's okay if a little red's left because I'm going to work here while it's wet. And what I'm going to do, that was color crimson. And now I'm going to take a darker red. And this is a cadmium red deep hue. And I'm going to shake it. And open it would be great. Because you know me. I can't open anything. Come on now. There we go. All over me the way I love it. Yay! All right, that's just great. I swear. I swear, I swear. Okay. So now I'm going to take a little bit of this red on my brush. That's it. And I'm going to go around the outside and it's just going to add a little bit of a shadow. And I'm just kind of pulling it in and turning my brush. You might need a little bit more. And can you see on there how it just has that little bit of dark that's going to add to it? And then I like to go and just kind of, I want this to have a bit of texture. So now that I have my two colors on there, I'm just going to kind of tap. And this is the way I like it. You want it smooth? By all means, make it smooth. You make it whatever way you want. Now what I like to do is if you want, I'm going to put my, do this a little bit put my brush in the water for a second take a little bit of glitter okay whatever color you want you can use red would be pretty I'm going to use just very simple and I'm going to put a little bit on my finger and while the paint is wet I'm just going to put a little bit because it's going to go into the paint you know it's, it's going to give a little bit of sparkle and if I want more sparkle when it's dry I can always add it on uh, with a top coat kind of like your nails so that's it. just going to put a little bit on there. I know it's a bit hard to see when the paint's wet. So we'll go from there. All right. So you can now blow it dry if you want. And that's what I'm going to do for a second. Remember your clay is baked. So it's not going to hurt anything. And it wouldn't hurt anything if you wanted to heat it up with your heat gun as well. I sometimes cook things with my heat gun if they're small. And that's just so you don't put your arm in it. Or, for instance, me. I don't put my arm in it because I'm really good for that. Now I'm going to turn it this way. And lift it up. Because it's going to dry. See, but the back is no big deal because if I glue it down, it's not going to bother anything. I'm going to lay it like that. And this, we're going to paint yellow on the inside and a little orange on the outside. So, again, use what you have. Hey, and if you want to use markers, go ahead. If you want to use your pan pastels or your pastels, go ahead. If you want to use your Crayola markers, go ahead. If you want to use your colored pencils, go ahead. See the theme? Go ahead. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. It's about you and having fun and creating, right? And this is such an easy, such an easy thing to do. And if you don't want to do the this, don't do that. Just do the heart and work on that, right? So my brush is a little probably too wet with water, but I'm going to lay a coat down. Okay. I'm sorry about my dogs barking. Okay, so put a coat on there and I'm going to do one more coat. Of the yellow 
Well, let's do it. Well, well, apparently, I like a lot of yellow. Let's just do this. It's yellow, it's yellow. Come on, that's I'm not the only one that happens to. Now, if you find that you're having a bit of trouble with the yellow covering, you can always gesso it. I'm not going to, because I'm going to put some sparkle and some red. I, I, You know, there's no, flames are transparent to a point. So you're going to get the gist of what I'm doing. But if it bothers you, by all means, see, I'm just scooping it back in because I don't like to waste, but it's wetted out. All right. Here we go. All right. I think that'll be the last one. And then I can use the rest for doing another coat. See, crisis diverted. All right, I keep these in. Some people, some people uh, write me and say, why don't you write it out your mistakes? And I say, first of all, don't watch my videos. And second of all, because you know what? A lot of people who are new to a different art uh, kind of thing, make mistakes like that. And then they think, oh gee, I'm horrible and I can't paint or I shouldn't be doing this. And the fact is, is yes, you can. Yes, you should. And we all do this. So I just tend to keep them in. Should I edit them out? Maybe it would make me more popular. Maybe people would like my videos more. Maybe. But honestly, I don't care. Maybe one day I'll learn how to edit. I try, but I can only do what I can do. I just like having fun painting. I just can't care, you know. If you get upset that my paint fell out and I left it in there for a second while I scooped it back in, then I'm sorry for you. I wish I had nothing else in my life to be mad about than what somebody else does with their paint. End scene. <laughs> and I'm getting that all yellow on there. So I'm going to just go like this because that's going to be like the lid kind of thing. So I can change that later. Okay. So you see. All right. So I'm going to dry this really quickly. You know, this is a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun and you're new to mixed media or art journaling or whatever, um, use your hair dryer. And if you don't have a hair dryer, just go to your local thrift store or Goodwill. And they have them. They're very, very, very cheap. And they will help dry your stuff just as well as the heat gun. A heat gun is basically used, well, to dry things, but mostly for embossing. Which, I don't emboss as much as I should or could. Because I'm too lazy to get up and go over there to get the embossing stuff. I'm sorry, but it's the truth today. Alright, so you can see how that's... That's kind of dry. Alright, so now... What we're going to do is I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to go on here. And I'm going to add some orange around. Okay? Just some orange. Now, you know what's fun? Well, I'll sh Let me do this real quick. Let me get the orange. One thing at a time. Okay, one thing at a time. Brain's processing really weird. <laughs> Can't open the orange. Just do this. All right. I'm going to put it over here. You're not going to be able to see it, but it's okay. I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna put it on my dry brush, just like that. And I'm not worried if it's not as dry as maybe I want it. I'm just going around. And it's just gonna add, you know, a little bit of texture. And I'll show you if you think it's too much. Oh, my door's open. I don't know how that opened. So if you hear my dogs barking like you did earlier, I'm so sorry. They are just, it's nicer weather out, you know, it's like in the 50s and there's kids outside playing and my dogs think, well, let's be a jerk. Let's bark at everything. Leaves blowing around? Why, sure, let's bark. Okay, so you see how I did that? Now you can leave it like that, of course, but what I'm going to do, because I never leave anything alone, because that's just how I am, I'm going to wipe off, and you should not do this on your... Yeah, you know, your paper that you have sitting by. But I'm going to get most of that off, leave it dry, and I'm going to go pounce and pounce and pounce and pounce and pounce. Now I'm going to go back in with more yellow, and I'm going to go in the middle, but I'm just trying to stay on the edges as much as I can, just trying to get that extra out. And it's okay if it kind of goes like that. It's all right. It's a flame. Stare at a flame. 
you know, and it's it's never spot on perfect, okay? It never is. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of my yellow. And if you've been with me for a while, you know I take out of the cap a lot because it's just more control for me because I'm always putting my hand in something um, or my foot in my mouth. That's just how I roll. So I'm just gonna go in here and swipe down and nothing's dry right now. So you're gonna see it mix a little bit. And if it bothers you, wait until it's dry. So I'm gonna dry it and then go back over it with the yellow, but it's just kind of blending it all. So that's not such a hard edge. Okay, like I said, very, very little. I'm drying it just so I can go in with the yellow. Okay. Let's get a smaller brush. I think I'm using all my brushes today. Straight up yellow and I'm going in. And you see when it's dry how much brighter it'll come up because you're not blending. But I like that blend because it just, I don't know, it just helps it for me. You don't have to do it like I do it, but it helps me at the end. You can even put some weight in here if you want. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I can't tell you. All right. Let's see how we're doing. And I love the padding. Like use a, use a Q-tip or something to that, you know, or a makeup brush that maybe you cut if you don't have brushes um, or different size brushes or whatever. Uh, and I am going to be doing, a lot of you uh, were asking, uh, beginners were asking about um, if I would show, because I always talk about makeup sponges and that kind of thing. So I am going to do uh, a video soon of just using the makeup brushes, or makeup sponges rather, not brushes, but uh, that I get from the dollar store. So you guys can see how you can use them in your, use them in your art as your main painting McDoodle. <laughs> You know what I mean. All right, and I'm okay with this texture that it's showing because it's a flame. It's the flickering flame. The flickering flame flickers. It flickers back and forth. It flickers. Um, it flickers when the wind blows. I blow at poetry. There you go. That was all for you today, guys. All right, so you see, I'm just doing this. Now, if you look at your, this, your, um, you know what, I'm going to go in here a little bit. If you look at your red and you want to have it a little bit more detailed or anything like that, or even if you want to draw something or say a special uh, word, by all means, do your thing. This is when you make it to the way you want it. There we go. I probably should put some orange around the outside of this too, because that's kind of where it's going. But you see... When you pat it, it kind of just gives that nice texture, and you don't have to worry like, oh, how, you know, how much is it covered? How's it doing? You know, so I'll do something on that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of glitter, just like I did with the red. Now you can't see it that good on there, so I'm going to have to add some more. But I'm going to do a little bit up here, and you can use orange or yellow. My lazy butt is using what I have sitting here, so just a pinch will do ya. Then you draw it again. I'm going to concentrate down here so I can... I might even go black, a little blacker around the heart. Who knows? But I'm going in now. Going in right here. Okay. There we go. Bringing that all here. And then just to touch up a little bit around the edges, just to make it a little darker uh, on certain parts. Not a big deal. Because remember, you're there is no right or wrong for this because as I'm sure you have in your life, seen a candle and a flame. Is it burning? And I don't know the word. Eternal flame, close my eyes. I don't know. Anyway, that wasn't one of my songs. That's not what I listened to. But 
You see how it works. You're just making it a little fresh. She's fresh, fresh, exciting. Around the edges, just to give it a little something, something. No big deal. There you go. And like I said, you can continue and, and do your thing on that. I happen to not uh, want to necessarily do that. But what I do want to do is I'm going to take, am I, am I, what am I going to take? You know what I'm going to do? I have these that I'm doing in another product uh, project, but I might, let's try it. Are you going to squirt it? Oh, it squirts. It squirts. Don't worry, guys. It squirts. I know you're wondering, does it squirt? Yep, squirts all over me. Uh, that's what she said. Okay, so I'm just doing little dots here. Now, this is a, a um, beads in a bottle. So you definitely can be really fancy and take these and just do be like the beads all over it from this, and that would look awesome. But what I'm doing is taking my finger. Oh, the jokes. And rubbing it around to add a little bit of a metallic kind of shine. Oh, yes. But look what I did right there. <laughs> I was so excited that I kind of smushed it. That's all right, though. Look, blend, blend. It's just like foundation. Blend it, blend it. All right. I'll clean that up after. What are you doing, Spiral? Uh, putting a little bit here. Blending it, blending it. Look at that. And if you want to, uh, well, I was going to show you what the bead and the bottles look like, but I'll wait. Maybe you guys know, and I don't want to bore you any more than I already bore you guys. So if you want to see the beads in the bottle, just let me know. Okay. Now I think I'm going to go for this copper. I bet you that's going to look good in here. And I'm just going to see what you do as you go like this. Boop. 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 And, it, and it's hard to see, but. It does little beads. Oh, look at this. I'm just rubbing it in. Rubbing it in, rubbing it in. Yes, 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 look at this. Oh, the glitter, the shine, the love. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, what else? What else? A little black on my finger. Just a little, just a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to kind of, I know it looks dark right now, but don't worry. I'm going to just take some of that off. Put it over here. It's just going to, I don't know. To me, I just love the way it looks. I am a grungy kind of girl. <laughs> Can't help it. I'm sure you've heard many other things about me that maybe, you know, but, uh, I'm grungy. Oh, I like, I mean, not in life. I shower every day, wash my hair every day, you know, the whole, the whole thing. I have to because otherwise I will have paint all over me, which is not a bad thing, but all right, I got to quit talking because <laughs> just, you guys are probably like, shut up, shut up. Does she shut up? All right, now I'm going to take a small paintbrush and because this is still wet I'm going in right here because it's a little darker here than I want it but I'm just gonna pull it down more kind of hit spots and it's alright if you don't hit every spot Yep. I'm just going to go on my paper towel on my finger and just kind of pat it around. Okay. So now, let me lift this up. I know, I'm a mess. So let's see if you guys can see. See how we are? Now here's where you can, let me see if I have a marker I can use for that. Maybe even a gel pen, huh? Let's see if my black gel pen works. So I want this to have like a cap right here. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea, Cal. A little bit. 
Nope, not a good idea, Kelly. But you knew that going and grabbing that pen. <laughs> that it was not a good idea. Where's my black marker? And I want my black marker. I hate when I put things down. I was using it like a fairy. All right. Yeah, that's what I want. What I really, really want. And I'm just going in and following this. And I'm going to go here. Not worrying too much about the orange. That's why I my markers go fast, is because I do stuff like that. And you know what? I might what I might do is just color all this in here. Black. But you can do it whatever way you want. I just changed my mind when I was looking at it. It doesn't have to be you know, I don't want it to be jet black, you know, so I'm just gonna kind of tap it. So it blends with that background a little bit. You know what would be not? I could put some gold there on that black. Wipe off the tip of your marker because it can cause your marker not to work. Trust me. All right, I'm going to rub some of that in there so you still get some sheen. Yeah. That is what I want. All right, so now you can definitely cover this with clear um, liquid uh, medium, gel medium, or Mod Podge, or whatever. You can use glossy, whatever you have. This is a canvas that I redid. And a while ago, I did a video where I did uh, Crackle. And I love blue and red together, so when I... When I so the canvas, I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to end up doing is putting it on the blue canvas. So that's what I will probably end up doing. Um, I don't exactly know. I might have to put a quote with it. I don't know. I wonder if Crackle would look good on there. I have to decide. But this is what I have. Move this down a little bit. And this is what... I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to have to do stuff around here to, um, you know, to kind of make it do its thing. So that's where I'm at and that's how I do the uh, Sacred Heart. Very simple. I know I sat and, you know, lollygagged and talked and all that kind of stuff, but that's basically how you do it with clay. Do you have to um, put it on a canvas? By No, not at all. You can hang it like this now. You can, I just want to make sure the wet paint's gone. I don't care about the rest. You can um, hang it. You can um, put a hole here, you know, and hang it. I wrap sometimes when I forget to put holes in, I wrap it with wire and hang it. Or you can, before you bake it, put a hole in it if you want to hang it. Like I said, I'm going to glue it on here and I'm going to do some fanciness. So that's what I'm going to do. But if you guys do this uh, Sacred Heart, very basic, very, it's not fancy. Boy, you can really make this fancy and go all out. I am not going to on this uh, video, but like I said, if you guys try this or do this, please let me see. Uh, tag me, Facebook, all my information's down below. Email me, whatever you want. And if you want to come join my group, that link is down below as well. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this. I love you guys so very much. And uh I just am very thankful. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it greatly. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You guys rock my world. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.